Welcome. In this video, we'll be analyzing function notation, linear functions part one. Let's take a look at our first example. Example one, given f of x is equal to 2x minus 3, find f of negative 9. In order for us to figure out what f of negative 9, we are going to use two different methods. Method one is what we refer to as the description method. And let's see how we describe what's going on in this function. So we're taking the input x. And we're actually getting the output for that particular input as 2x minus 3. So if we were to describe what's going on, the first thing we can say is that we're picking a number. So that's step one. Pick a number. And we're calling that number x. Now notice that once you have x, the first thing you're going to do to it is to multiply that by 2. So that are, is our next step. Multiply by 2. Once we do that, we get the expression 2x. And lastly, we're going to subtract 3. So that is our next step. Thus, we get the expression 2x minus 3. Now, in the particular case of f of negative 9, we're not just choosing any random number. We're given a specific value, in this case, negative 9. So we're going to go through this method or through this description here. So pick a number. Well, we said it's negative 9. Then multiply that by 2. So we have 2 times negative 9, which gives you negative 18. And then we're going to subtract 3. So we have negative 18 minus 3, which is negative 21. Therefore, we get that f of negative 9 is equal to negative 21. And that is method 1, the description method. Now, let's actually find f of negative 9 using a different method, what we call method 2 or the substitution method. So what we're going to do, we're going to take in our given input here, and we're going to replace every single x in the original function with that particular value. So we are interested in f of negative 9. Now, my input is now negative 9, so I'm going to take this expression here, and I'm going to replace the x's with a negative 9. So we have 2 times negative 9 minus 3. Now to evaluate this expression on the right hand side, we're going to use the order of operations. So we have f of negative 9 is equal to 2 times negative 9, which is negative 18 minus 3. And we get that f of negative 9 is equal to negative 21. So regardless of which method we use, we get that f of negative 9 is equal to negative 21. As part of an extension, I would like to address that we're given the point with coordinates negative 9 comma negative 21. Why is that the case? Because your input or x value is negative 9 and the corresponding output or y value is negative 21. Let's see one more example here. Example 2. Given g of x is equal to negative 2x plus 3, find g of 4. Once again, let's use both methods. So method 1 is the description method. Now notice that your input into your function is x. And the output, in this case, is negative 2x plus 3. Now let's describe what's going on. So the first thing is that we're picking a number. So pick a number. We call that number x. Now notice to your x, you're multiplying that by negative 2. So that's our second step. So multiply by negative 2. 
thus getting you negative 2x. And then the last step is to add 3 to it. So step 3, add 3. That's getting us the expression negative 2x plus 3. Now, in the given case, we have that the input is 4, since we're interested in 4g of 4. So instead of just picking any number x, we're going to choose 4. Then we're going to multiply that by negative 2. So we have negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8. And we're going to add 3 to that result. So we have negative 8 plus 3 gives you negative 5. So we can say that g of 4 is equal to negative 5 using the description method. Now let's use our second method, method 2 or the substitution method. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our given input here of 4 and we're going to substitute that in into this expression on the right in any case that we see an x. So we have g of 4 is equal to negative 2 times 4 plus 3. Once we do that, we're going to use the order of operations to evaluate the expression on the right. So we have g of 4 is equal to negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8, plus 3. And negative 8 plus 3 is equal to negative 5, so we have that g of 4 is equal to negative 5. And once again, notice that regardless which method we use, we get that g of 4 is equal to negative 5. Now, as part of an extension, we can say that we have the point with coordinates four, comma negative five, since the input or x value is four and the corresponding output or y value is negative five. Let's see one last example here. Example three, given h of x is equal to the opposite of x minus 5, find h of negative 3. So once again, we're going to use both methods. So method 1, description. So once you identify that the input is um, x and the corresponding output is the opposite of x minus 5, we can start to describe the process. So step one is pick a number. In this case, we call it x, since that's your input. Now, notice that we're taking the opposite of that number. So take its opposite. Remember that a synonym for opposite is additive inverse. So take its opposite. That's getting us. Um, the opposite of x. And then we're going to subtract 5. That's getting us um, the opposite of x minus 5. Now, in this given case, since we're interested for h of negative 3, we know that the input is negative 3. So that's a number that we're going to choose instead of just x. So we have negative 3. Now, we take its opposite, which is 3 since negative 3 plus 3 gives you the 0. And then we're going to subtract 5. So we have 3 minus 5, which gives you negative 2. So we can conclude that h of negative 3 is equal to negative 2. Now that's the value that we obtain through the description method. Now let's use the substitution method or method 2 to make sure that we got the right answer. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this negative 3 and we're going to substitute it into this expression wherever we see an x value. So we have h of negative 3 is equal to the opposite of negative 3 minus 5. Now, following the order of operations, we have that h of negative 3 is equal to the opposite of negative 3, which is 3, and then minus 5. 
and we get that h of negative 3 is equal to 3 minus 5, which is negative 2. And once again, regardless of we, which method we use, we obtain that h of negative 3 is equal to negative 2. Now, as part of your, an extension, we can say that we have the point with coordinates negative 3 comma negative 2 since the input or x value is negative 3 and the output or y value is negative 2. So this concludes our video on function notation linear functions part 1. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.